Hey, everybody, it's Jeff Short with Chauvet DJ, and I am excited to be talking today with my friend Joshua Humley of the band We Three. Joshua, how are you? Man, Jeff, I'm doing great. Yeah, it's great to be here. Um, just great to be chatting with you and uh, yeah, talk all uh, things lighting and Chauvet and stuff. Perfect, perfect. Well, for, for anyone watching um, that is not familiar with We Three, and I, I can't believe there would be anybody like that uh, these days because the band is blowing up, I know. Um, you guys gained first sort of, you know, widespread exposure on America's Got Talent uh, and had some really great success on that show. Uh, we Three is a uh, sibling trio. So it's you, your brother and your sister and uh, sort of, a, you know, original songwriters, alt pop, you know, genre, all sorts of things, you know, in that, re you know, kind of realm. Um, man, just blowing up over 60 million streams, over 114 mm -hmm. million video views, you know, support from the BBC, support from Sirius XM radio. And, and the reason why we're talking is because you guys just did a really cool project um, that was a virtual streaming edition of your latest concert uh, called Dear Paranoia. And in that, you used a bunch of Chauvet DJ fixtures that we were happy to provide uh, for that show. And so we wanted to talk to you today about that. So again, welcome. Absolutely. Thanks for taking a few minutes. And um, I think, first of all, talk a little bit about why you, I mean, obviously we know why you were doing this in a virtual situation, but mm -hmm. how did that come about? How did this project come about? Were you already planning a live tour and had to readjust or how did this Dear Paranoia tour streaming concert thing come mm -hmm. to be? Yeah, well, I think just like um, many artists right now, uh, we had a lot of exciting things going on at the beginning of 2020. We were actually in Europe um, and in Germany, finished a couple shows in London, and we're about to do, we're about to do our first show in Germany. And um, got a call from our manager saying that, uh, hey, the show's going to be off. Um, the city's shutting things down. Venues are closing. Um, and we kind of saw the handwriting on the wall and realized, Oh, shoot, we should probably book a ticket and get back home. Um, and so, yeah, every, everything just came to a halt. We were super, super bummed about that. That was one of the saddest plane rides, <laughs> I have yeah, to say. Yeah. I can um, but we got back and um, just wasn't, we weren't really sure what to do, you know, with ourselves. Um, but quickly, we've just got such a great team um, surrounding us. And we quickly got some things together and started doing virtual stuff. Um, started just writing tons of music um, and it's really cool when you have like that extra amount of time you just get to like explore musical things and ideas that you may not have before because you just have tons of extra time you know and um, so this virtual concert was one of the things that popped up and we had done a few things but we really really wanted to do something that was um, a hybrid virtual and in person um, and so we tried to do it early uh, it was about November um, of 2020, just didn't work out. Um, and so we pushed it to January of 2021. Um, long story short, the in-person side of it didn't end up working out. And so we were like, you know what, forget it. We, we just, we need to do something, um, one for ourselves. We just need to perform and get some music out there. Um, but we also just want to give these p awesome people at home, our fans and everybody, something to watch and something to experience, you know, cause um, we're just trapped in our houses. And so we really, really wanted to do that. And um, yeah, we just got to put this thing together. And um, the, the lighting was a huge new production value. And that's one thing that was cool with doing it the virtual side is um, we got to control the production way more than we ever had before. So we had a big screen behind us and we had all those lights from you guys. Um, and it was, it ended up being way cooler than, than we anticipated. So that's amazing. Um, and yeah, yeah. And, it, and it definitely, it looked amazing too. Um, awesome. You know, so, so kudos to you guys and you're right. Thanks. You know, there, there, there were silver linings about the pandemic and how it made us all stop. You know, we had no choice, but to stop. And, you know, there's been, out of the ashes of all of that have sort of arisen 
these, you know, bright phoenixes, if you will, mm -hmm. of creativity, yeah. you know, yes. um, you know, people that have had the time to write and produce and, and things like that. We've seen that from a lot of artists around the world. And um, that part of it has been inspiring. So I totally get what you mean about that. What was the venue uh, like uh, that you were taping this in? What kind of a venue was it? Um, so we were just in this event space that um, had it was it ended up being perfect it was uh, it was kind of a last minute change um but it ended up being just a a, spa a stage that had black curtains all the way around which is exactly what we were hoping for um and there was some lighting that was available but it just worked out better for us to have our own mobile lighting that we could set up and move exactly where we wanted it That's um, and so it was just this this the space that was perfectly conducive, kind of like a studio, um, um, but it was perfectly conducive for what we were doing. So that's awesome. Just for the, and, and for the for the lighting people that that might be seeing this, Shobe DJ, we used a mixture of uh, Slimpar T12 BT, some Bluetooth compatible lighting. We used uh, a number of Intimidator moving heads, um, some Intimidator Spot 260s, Intimidator Wash Zoom 450s some freedom sykes for some color wash uh other freedom par you know battery operated uh fixtures for further wash and one of the stars of the show uh besides you three on the stage were freedom sticks which yeah kind of, uh which kind of added a really cool visual element so oh yeah in your estimation what talk a little bit about the effect that the the looks that you guys created had on that show you know, it's it's hard to to like quantify it. I feel like because it we had we just we've always had like we've always been trying to push the envelope and trying to not just create music that connects with people, but an experience that connects with people as well and that's memorable. And um, this is the first time that we actually were able to automate our lighting show. And um, the you mentioned all the, the freedom stuff the freedom sticks we had the freedom quads um freedom sykes the uh the bluetooth compatibility i was a little nervous at first i have to say um but i i hooked it up and it was like it was way easier than i thought and i'm not a like a, i'm not a lighting guy at all i, I had to learn all this stuff and i was kind of dreading it <laughs> so I thought, oh my gosh you know there's professionals professional lighting people i'm not, like i'm not that's not my thing I, you know i've got all this other stuff i'm doing and what you guys were able to do is like dumb it down and make it super easy for guys like me who, you know, I've got the, the Ableton chops and I've got the computer chops, um, but that integration process was like, uh, but you made it really easy for me to do that. And um, then I could spend less time like hooking things up and connecting things and making things talk together and more time creating that experience that we were going for. Um, yeah, so absolutely. the, the, the freedom stuff, I loved it. The Bluetooth compatibility, just moving things around. It was, yeah, it was, it was fantastic. Um, you mentioned those freedom sticks. Those were super fun. We actually put some, uh, just some clear tubes. We sprayed um, some frost uh, paint, like from a spray can over these tubes. And we just kind of frosted them. We put those tubes right on top of the freedom sticks. And it just created like this, um, uh, this kind of like fluorescent bulb uh, effect. So it was like kind of like we were controlling a fluorescent bulb, you know, it was like uh, DMX controlled. And um, yeah, it ended up just being fantastic. And so it took the, it took the level of the performance and the level of um, the production value, I mean, up so many notches. And we were able to get across something that was way, it was probably closer to what we had imagined than we'd ever have been able to come before. So that is that is just so over the moon. fantastic to hear, you know, that it, it added so much. And, and watching the 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 performance online, I, I got to tell you, you know, it looked like a big stage in a big venue um, with yeah. really high production values. And I'm not saying just because mm -hmm. of of the lighting, you know, uh, I'm saying your your performance and the presentation of it and and, you know, I know it's weird performing to no one, you know, I mean, you just, you don't <laughs> yes. have that 
immediate feedback and, oh, and hard. you know uh, so many artists have been going through that over the last year but you guys yeah. really knocked it out of the park and i'm glad that you know the the wireless functions and the mobility of the fixtures really helped mm -hmm. as well because i'm sure you had to experiment a little bit with that placement and yeah. you know i think that you know these fixtures make that easy to do am i right it's true yeah and i wanted to interject there that you know it, it definitely came across for for the viewers as a as a as a level up and experience but also for us the having the lights there and the extra production there it enhanced our performance absolutely you know i remember um rehearsing this show over and over and over and um it it does it gets very exhausting when you don't have an audience that you're playing to there's just you know it's a glorified rehearsal there's just no energy i i liken it to uh, drinking decaf coffee you know you're yeah. you're expecting that kick but it just doesn't come um but the lights i remember the first time we actually did the show on the stage and everything with the lights and um like it that energy was there it was really weird it um it you know definitely wasn't the same as having an audience um but at least gave us something and, and absolutely uh helped our performance um particularly in that virtual uh setting where there's no audience members so the um the lighting and the production totally made our performance better what would you say to to other bands um that you know about the use of lighting in general. And I'm not talking about bands at the necessarily on the level of you guys, but I, you know, even, you know, we've all been in, you know, in bar bands and we've been to bar mm -hmm. gigs where the lighting is bad. And, you know, mm -hmm. bands often don't pay attention to it as much as obviously as to the the sound gear and the instrumentation that they're That's using. Um, but you know, one of the things that we're we're constantly trying to do is to communicate with bands um, about lighting in general and how it affects their performances. What what advice would you give uh, to to bands trying to do gigs out there in mm. in terms of lighting? Yeah, I mean, I would say, you know, for good, there's good and bad to it. But our our um, music world is changing and it's evolving and there's becoming more expected of an artist i feel like and of a band um and you know your music has to be on par um your your performance all of that but really the production of your show is becoming a part of that as well and um <clears throat> having control of what everybody's seeing from the, the sounds coming out of your instruments to the way that your faces and your instruments are being lit um, is, it's, I mean, for us, it's becoming nearly just as important. Um, and having that, I think it's just, it's the bar is being raised more and more of what's expected of, of a show. Um, and having lighting that's easy to, uh, that's easily ex accessible and easy to set up and easy to program is absolutely invaluable. And so I would just say to up, up and coming bands, like take the extra time to understand some of this stuff, even just the basics um, and figure out whether you're using um, Ableton, you're using a DAW or something to program your lighting, um, or you're just using some of the, the, the presets that, um, that you guys have on your lights. I would just say absolutely go for it. Raise the production value up of your performance to the next level, and um, yeah, and make that make that investment with the lights because um, it's yeah, I think it's invaluable. Honestly, it's just the next step. It's the next evolution. And I think you hit on something too with presets. Is you know the other message that we try to give people a lot is it doesn't take deep dives into DMX programming, um, you know, which can, you know, a lot of people don't have time or interest to learn um, because they're, they're focused on their music. Um, and even putting a static color wash on a stage mm -hmm. can make all the difference. Um, Absolutely. You know, so it, it doesn't take a lot and it's easy to do. Joshua, again, congratulations on an amazing performance and the innovation to do it. And in that streaming way. And uh, you know, we're just so gratified and excited to be working with you guys and excited for what the future holds. And we definitely want people to get turned on to We3 because it's just an amazing band. How can people find more about you guys? 
We are um, all over on all social platforms and on all streaming sites. We're at We Three Music. Um, yeah, we're excited to uh, to connect with people, and um, we've got some new and exciting music coming. We can't wait to share it. And um, thank you, Jeff. I really appreciate you guys and making it easy for uh, non DMX lighting people like myself uh, to be able to create uh, a show and an experience. That's uh, it's our great pleasure. So. Our pleasure. So uh, keep rocking, brother, and we'll get through this, and we'll be back to live shows real soon. So. Joshua Huntley, we three, thank you so much for being with us. Appreciate it. Thanks so much.